Hey guys, it's Mark Hanna coming to you unscripted, uncensored, unapologetic, and psychologically immune from social media control, but I am not psychologically immune from my recording getting deleted by mistake by me. But I just did a nice 25-minute video, and I'm having to re-record it from scratch, so I'm a little peeved. So I'm going to probably make this a lot shorter uh, and just let's go. I'm trying to let you guys know what happened in September, why I haven't done videos. I like to do at least one video every, um, I would say, uh, week, maybe two weeks max. So um, that's why this video is out. Let's get started. I'm going to just do a quick check on the audio here. Okay, it's recording well, so yeah, let's get started here. Let me show you the first thing I've been working on, and it's been really sucking up a big chunk of my time. It's the Battles of Napoleon, Eilau 1807 by Uwe. Um, Sound of Drums design, really beautiful looking game, and really like it. We tried to play it. The rules were just not done properly right away. There were too many errors based on translation into English and or missing rules. We're not sure it was play tested well enough. We don't think so, but uh, that's why we're working on it because uh, we got co-opted in. It's like if, uh, well, if you guys are right, then you can help fix it. <laughs> so that's what happened there. So uh, this is just gives you a quick view of what the game map looks like. Very nice. This is our scenario that's set up. Um, Frencher, um, this is with Mark Trowbridge, my erstwhile opponent. Uh, the usual uh, aggressive behavior by him. He's attacking with his French over here. I'm pulling in closer over here, but I'm not really set up to attack. Um, the thing is, though, um, we're getting to a place where we're getting to an impasse again because we just can't seem to find a way around these rules problems. Um, in fact, here's just a taste of what we're working on right here. These are um, batch two and batch three of the playtest suggestions and rule fixes. And, you know, this has all of the things we've done. But, you know, we've got nine pages and there's 12 pages, 15 pages. It's already at 20 pages. It's, it's a lot of work. Um, Mark and I are working on this. And then we got to get prompt feedback from the designer, and he's not always there. He's on vacation or he's busy with something else. So um, it's, uh, you know, two steps forward, one step back, one and a half steps back. Uh, personally, we're not making fast enough progress, but I'm an impatient person when it comes to getting projects done because I want to move on to something else more fun. But I'm working on it, and um, we all hope that it will shape out as a really good game. We all know that Ui uh, is intending to do even more of these. Uh, let's see, where's my picture folder? Where was I here? Da -la 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 -la. Oh yeah, Alo photos. Okay, so that's Alow, and um, I'd like to say we could highly recommend it, but it needs to be worked on. Okay, so Alau's there. Then the next thing that I got sucked up into, which I sucked myself into it two months at the beginning of summer. Now it's the end of the summer and I'm playing this Command and Colors Napoleonics tournament. Uh, I really like this game. A lot of ASLers do too. It's a sort of a gap filler game, but still intricate, difficult to play. Um, and it's not uh, hard to learn, but it's difficult to master. And I am not at the mastery stage by any stretch of the imagination but we, we're enjoying it this is the scenario that we played yesterday i did lose the complete first round of the tournament and this is the french yesterday or last week was the french right or last month i should say and i lost both scenarios the second one badly we you flip sides in this tournament this time i finally won one i've done this tournament before and i did win one before so now I've got to switch sides and win as the Prussians. Uh, I wouldn't say I had a man, uh, I would call a brilliant game. Here's the French. I did a lengthy charge, high casualties to take Ardon, this town. Um, the Prussians had secured this town, and um, 
they were trying to keep me out of this town so at the very end I was able to grab two here so those I should put circles that means I had the majority of the town X's that gave me two banners and even though he had destroyed eight of my units for eight banners I had just destroyed seven plus the two banners I got at the beginning of my turn and I won the scenario nine to eight no great feat but it was one of those last dice of the ASL close combat type of feelings so we both enjoyed it at least I think I might have enjoyed it a little more since I won this time all right so that was another project that sucked me away from doing videos what's next well the next one was um, I had worked on a grudge match with uh, that's not this one um, with Doug cradle to grave uh, <laughs> uh, this was one of the ones where I told Doug ah there's no way that the Germans can win this it's gonna be impossible if the Allies set up a certain way he says I deny you and so he said I'll play the Germans and uh, as the shill that I am I wouldn't even give him the balance because he didn't offer it to me when we first set this up I was supposed to be the Germans I looked at it and I said there's no way and there's a couple of comments in the BGG forums or no game squad I hardly ever visit game squad but um, I was researching this scenario because I said this doesn't look like uh, a scenario I could really win now that I've seen Doug set up and lo and behold there was a, a commentary by another player out there saying the same thing so we flipped roles and we thought it'd be fun to go ahead and do a video together Doug and I on playing this we did get this started but things have happened and then I lost my um, solid state drive solid state drive um, I thought it was broken I had to buy a new solid state drive I had to shift all these files all over the place but it wasn't the solid state drive that was broken it was this thing I don't know if you're familiar with this it's a USB hub you can plug a bunch of USB devices in here this one plugs this one plugs into your computer and supposedly it will work but unfortunately it was broken it wasn't allowing rapid communication of my solid state drive so the computer thought that it was a problem with the drive and so did I until I figured out through process of elimination is what you probably usually have to do with hardware find out what's wrong with the module uh, get rid of or replace the module I haven't replaced it yet I've just plugged my hard drives directly into the computer they work fine but I did lose the first batch of videos so sorry Doug if you're listening to this um, if we're going to continue this it's going to have to be without those just too much on the plate too many things happening and that's pretty much what it was uh, work is gearing up again after the summer uh, all the Europeans especially the French uh, people the, the, the population de la France they come back after being gone for all of August and then things heat up again those are my clients are mostly French right now so that's what's going on uh, the next thing that was going on uh, was another tournament that came up then I've started with Michael Hastrup Lee uh, currently ranked number six on uh, the all-time list of ASL roar which is quite an accomplishment to get up that high um, I don't play enough scenarios to do that I mean I think you have to play in like a tournament every weekend or something and the guys who are really good at this game of ASL they play a lot and they play face-to-face -face or on vassal face-to-face -face. Um, and I just uh, I don't have the time because I have too many diverse interests unfortunately um, I just can't devote all my time to ASL and as you all know I have a bit of a grudge when it comes to some of the rules of ASL that really ruin the game as far as the simulation is concerned uh, more on that later okay so art of dying playing that right now with Michael Hastrup Lee so that's been on the plate uh, what's next let's go back to the photos uh, what do I have that's next on the photos well that's actually the game that's not the photos here's the photos okay yeah so that's the Leon game yeah and then finally I'm playing Liberation Day which was the other scenario Michael and I had chosen we diced off the scenario and the sides um, and uh, I wound up being the defender in Art of Dying which is what we're playing 
at the moment. Um, and uh, unfortunately, you know, I think it's maybe common. I'm not the best defender. I think some other people, I don't know if I have the patience. I'm pretty good at holding fire until it's absolutely necessary, which can be disconcerting for an attacker who's trying to draw my fire. Um, but uh, I'm not necessarily good at um, seeing the best defenses uh, that some other people can see. So uh, I tend to prefer the attacker, but I'm the defender again. So that's how it is. All right, so Liberation Day, though, I'm playing this one, Solitaire. This is my setup, um, and uh, this is quite an interesting one. If you look at this, uh, I will circle here. This block of buildings over here, including this one, both of those two, that's the railway station. I can't lose that, or I should say the Germans cannot lose that. And to tackle that, if they want to, there's some partisans who can zip through the woods and try to take those that building complex. If they do that, they win. Okay. The other way for the Soviets to win is to take a majority, four out of seven of these, stone building control. What you have to, the easiest way to get control is to have a unit in a building at the same time they don't have a unit in the building. Um, there's no hip, so there's no mopping up required to make sure you control it. The Germans have coming on up here. On turn two, they have a bunch of stuff that could come either way like that. So the Russians are probably going to put a, an Su-76 tank destroyer that comes on. One here and maybe one uh, around this area, maybe here or here or here, to you know, stop the Germans. The uh, Germans can, you know, try to come up these roads right here. They can come this way. They can come this way. Um, of course, they can also support the um, railroad station. Um, so there's always a question of, you know, they got three tanks coming in that are pretty good. That on turn four, the Russians get the T-3485s coming in. So it's a good mix of a scenario. Uh, and it's also pretty short. Six turns, great for a tournament. Uh, these scenarios for ASL are getting smaller and shorter and shorter and shorter. So, Anyway, I'll be doing a video on this next time. I want to do it next week. Thanks for your patience. Thanks for liking this video. Thank you for subscribing to my channel. I know I don't. Um, I don't pursue monetization of this channel, so I'm really... Um, doing it kind of for fun and for practice on making videos. Um, but like anything, I have so many diverse interests that I don't sink my teeth into it, so I really can't get the most that I can out of the Wondershare demo creator, which has got quite a few features that you know I just don't use. But that's neither here nor there as far as you're concerned. So that's it, it for my uh, quick short video to replace the longer 25-minute video, which might have been a little more entertaining. Um, but, uh, you know, this, has, this one has the information that I shared uh, as well. So thanks a lot. See you guys. Bye.